Yes, you read the title correctly. It was not clickbait. My dog saved my life today, not even two hours ago. So I know you want to meet the, the real deal best dog in the world. I say he's the best dog in the world all the time, but I'm convinced not. Look at that. Hey, can you show me? Look at that. He took that for the pack leader. Okay, Espacio. Thank you. He took that for me. So, I'm just gonna tell you what happened. So I was letting them off. Um, it was raining early today. We were going to uh, just sit down in the woods and you know, just chill by this fire. Um, and my newer dog, Crypto, we're still working on him. Uh, I let him off. You know, he's doing good. He was doing all right with the invisible leash principle and stuff. Check that video out. I should have it posted pretty soon. Um, but, I, you know, he was doing pretty good. He was staying around. Uh, and then he, he went into the woods a good bit. I called him once. He came back, surprisingly. So then uh, by the time I got Bruno off, uh, he went into the woods again. Crypto went into the woods again. And when I called him, he didn't listen. So now I'm going to go out there and I'm going to have to correct him. So, you know, I get Bruno, you know, he's off and we go run in the woods because he's way in the woods, crypto. And um, when I get to him, the thing is, hard pop, come here. And then I very, very tight leash. Like they're li right by my side. I hold that leash right to where they're my side. They're at my side, not choking them. But they, you better believe they don't have room to sniff around and stuff. They are right by my side while I walk to the place that I called them at. Okay. Um, so we, I start walking and we start walking. He's, you know, trotting, you know, and then he start, he, he does, he jumps, you know, and so he gets, he starts getting a little rowdy. And then I heard a growl. He growled. It started gnawing. Not the hard bite, but it was a corrective bite. You know, it was like a, hey, stop. You know, not a please stop. The jump was a please stop. But when he put his teeth on me, that was like, stop. I'm, 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 I'm getting frustrated. Stop. But been there, done that. In fact, that's, yeah, yeah, been there, done that. He, he used to do that too, Bruno. But um, at this point, Bruno, he starts, he starts looking up like, Crypto's a meal. I said, ah, shh. I said, I literally, I said shh, to Bruno, looked him in the eye, and he calmed down. And he kept, you know, walking around while I dealt with Crypto. So Crypto was jumping around at that point. I said, gave him a hard pop, stop. And so he stopped. We lost a little farther. And then he did it again. He started, you know, biting me. And I, now, mind you, this is not the first time I've done this technique on him. I've done this technique every single time he hadn't listened to coming back and he was doing good too. He was he was getting good at coming back when I called him. So he did it again. Um, this time he was biting just a little bit. He, he started biting sooner, okay? Once again, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard at all. I just felt teeth, that, that was it, okay? So I give him a hard pop and say, stop. And he stops. We walk a little bit farther and he goes crazy. I hear a growl, like a f really frustrated growl. Not a I'm gonna kill you growl, but a frustrated growl. Uh, so he started biting me, but this time his grip was getting harder and harder and harder, okay? Now, Bruno, I, 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 I told him twice. The second time Crypto started back, I told him, stay back, you know, I said, I said no. Uh, and so Bruno calmed down and he kept minding his business. But the third time, Crypto started biting harder and harder and harder and harder. Now, it wasn't no unbearable, but it was starting to hurt. That dog was not learning that lesson. And of course, I didn't have a muzzle on me, which is the moral of the story. I should have had a muzzle. That's my fault, which is why tomorrow, me and the dogs are going to do, do the exact same thing, you know? Um, so anyway, I didn't have a muzzle on, so he started biting harder and harder, and it started to hurt. Not bad, but it started to hurt. I was, I was, are you kidding me? 
I said, I said, you kidding me? I shook him off. And I said, Bruno. And sure enough, that dog over there, his ears stood straight up. He came right over to me. He stood to like right, right where that tree is. And Crypto was right here. And uh, I, I was pushing Crypto down to the ground. Hey, buddy. Good, 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 good. Hey, buddy. Espacio. I, I was pushing Crypto down to the ground. And I said, I said, Bruno, one, one, I said, Bruno, one time. Okay, you, you, you can go ahead. You, Espacio, Espacio, please go. I called him one time. And sure enough, that dog came from out those woods. Well, from deeper, from out deeper in the woods. He came, he waited right there. I put Crypto down, I took a big old step back. When I took that step back, Bruno, that dog right there, he came in to save the day. He started putting the hurt on, he started putting the hurt on Crypto. Now, the beautiful thing is, he showed, Bruno showed so much self-control. It was beautiful. It was amazing. Bruno wasn't trying to kill Crypto. He first started out by grabbing on, onto his back, getting him back close to the neck, but you know, like around the shoulder blade area, just below the shoulder blades. Um, he locked, he locked on, but that pit bull part of him, it locked. Shink! So Crypto, he started, you know, growling and stuff. He started trying to snap at him, but Bruno, he couldn't get a hold of Bruno. So Bruno just held him there. He didn't, you know, he didn't do that. He just, and he held him there. And then um, Crypto stopped and he started calm down. And then he got, he, he got some energy and he started reaching for Bruno again. And he just, then Bruno, he, I heard a, he said, sorry, not you, not you, sorry. He said, uh, he let out a ferocious growl, like like putting the putting the, the stuff into it. And he started shaking him a little bit and uh, he readjusted his bite. And so Crypto, he just he just stood there, he just, you know, back full of teeth. And then, um, yeah, then they both stopped. Now this thing, this thing literally lasted about 15 seconds. Um, and I'm just standing back. I'm, I'm literally just standing back and I'm watching. I couldn't believe that, that that Crypto just bit my hand. Bit the hand that feeds him, okay? Now still, yes, no, no, he did not bite me to kill me. He didn't even bite to, to get through the skin. But the principle, he was biting to inflict harm. He was getting there. He was escalating too quick. He lost all control. So Bruno, he came back. He put that control right back in place. So 15, 20 seconds pass and Bruno, he lets go. And they just, you know, get back, you know? They, they give each other space. Like, whew, thanks, Bruno. I <laughs> said, just like that. And uh, so then Bruno started walking around. All right, good. Then uh, he started walking back, like going for seconds. Is that, no. And then, so he started coming back to me. Then he, before he gets me, he go back like he's getting, going to get seconds. Bruno, too far. Good. How did he get way back there? You see him? But you better believe that dog had the same problem Crypto did. He would have bit the hand that fed him too, if I didn't, if I didn't have a muzzle on me at all times. I didn't trust him, so I made the mistake of trusting Crypto, but. Never again, because I I I failed I failed that dog right there. I failed him. It's my job as a pack leader. The reason he had such self control when I told him no, not to fight, he just go back right on to doing whatever he was doing. The reason is because I've showed him that I can take care of myself and I can take care of him. There's no need to fight. That's what I had to reassure him. Uh, there's no need to fight. I can handle it. And I had to rip all that to shreds. I had to say, I can't handle this. I need you to come help me. And sure enough, no questions asked. He came in there and he locked up. So after that 20 second encounter, like I said, he was coming back to me uh, and he started going back for a second. I said, I, 
and then it started coming back to me. And then that happened like maybe four times. I said, hey, Bruno, stop. And so then he went his own way. Uh, then when he started to, he passed crypto. Crypto grabbed him. He grabbed, he, he nipped at his leg, but he sort of, he, it wasn't a good one. He, he got a little bit of something, but Bruno turned around. This time he tried to start putting the hurt on him. He, Bruno turned around and got him right in the under part of the chest. So crypto got him right above the neck and it was something they were, <laughs> it was, you know, shaking. They were shaking and baking. Um, and crypto, it looked like crypto was winning. So um, when I saw that crypto was getting out of control, he was, he was biting more like, I'm going to kill this dog. So I said, Oh, there he is. So I said, hey, stop that. Stop crypto. Stop that. And so they calmed down. And then they got back into it. They, they calmed down enough like to, to just barely let go and readjust, like like stare each other down. And then they went right back into it. Um, mind you, I'm just standing. I'm bystanding, literally watching this happen. And uh, very calmly, because, you know, I at this point, every theory I've ever had, was was proved. All right, he's way over there. He's probably can't see him. Bruno, too far. Hey, come on now. He's not quite. gonna say he wasn't quite beelining like I wanted him to but um he went back into it and this time I started hearing like a whimper I couldn't tell who it was both of their heads were at the same spot good boy thank you got a little too far that time Espacio. um yeah I heard a whimper and I it might have been Bruno I don't know it might have been crypto I don't know but then I said, okay, that's enough. All right, hey, y'all, y'all stop. Y'all, y'all stop. And so they did. Well, I don't know. It was sloppy. You know, it was like a, you know, when you just break up a fight, it took them a moment to calm down. They stopped fighting, but they're like, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. Um, but the most surprising thing, I think, was that Bruno... He wasn't growling the whole time. He growled, I can count on three fingers the times that I might have heard him growl. Three fingers during that whole encounter because he showed some self-control. Crypto was crazy. He was rabid. Look at this. My dog jumped in there, did that for me. No questions asked. So, um, <clears throat> yeah. Then I went in and I got a hold of crypto. I just grabbed him. Uh, I got his leash. I stepped on it and I started tying Bruno's leash to a tree. That was a mistake. I like that leash. I really did. Tied him to a tree. I said, all right, all right, good. All right, stay, stay here. At this point, they'd stopped fighting. Um, and I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure about him. I wasn't sure about him just yet. But, um, I tie him up and we start uh, heading uh, back. I start heading back with crypto to put him up, to put his behind up. And uh, so I do the same thing, though. I do the same thing because ultimately being a pack leader, I'm not going to change my ways for you. You're going to change, not me. You're in my pack. So I get him the same way. We walk almost. We almost get there. He lasts so long. And this time he lets out a like he was fighting Bruno growl. Boy, you better believe. I snatched his neck down to the ground so very fast. And I put my hand on his neck so very fast. And I put my other hand on his back quarters, hind quarters, so very fast. 
He didn't get a chance to put teeth on me, hard or soft. And I kept in it, but this time, ooh, was he struggling to get out of that? Was he, ooh, his teeth were fully bare, <laughs> growling, I, ooh, I put, ooh, I was digging, ooh, boy. Mm, I'm getting heated just, oh man. I'm sorry, I'm, it's, it, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good, oh, it's not you. you're good, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, boy, he was, oh, my, my cord, thank you. Boy, he was heated, and I was heated. I said, shoop, I put his tail to the ground so fast. We waited there about two minutes. And you know what I see in the woods? I see this dude coming from deep, from, from deep in the woods, like where that, where that down tree is, like right in there. I'm like, oh no. So sure enough, he comes around and he comes in, ears up. Like, oh, time to get it again, you know? And um, this time I say, ah, sh no. I did, I, I, sh no. I did just like that. Like the dude did off Jurassic Park, the Jurassic World, talking to Blue. He's like, the Blue? You know, I did that. And sure enough, he stopped. He said, look at me. That's it, I, Espacio. Sure enough, that dog just turned around and started minding old business, his own business again. So, um, yep. He came back again with his ears up and saw that, uh, uh, again, and he, he, he did the same thing. He just went back to mind his own business. And then, at, at some point uh, later, just before I put Crypto up, just before I let him up, you know, because he was calm enough. Um, Bruno came really close. His ears weren't up in attack mode, but he came very close. And Crypto started struggling. You know, I just, I told him, I told Crypto to be to be quiet, calm down, put the fingers in the neck, and then uh, I put my body between him and Crypt, him and Bruno. I said, Bruno, I psh, no, leave him alone. And sure enough, Bruno, he, he'd walk back a couple steps and he'd walk, start coming back again. And we did that for three times, maybe. And um, now, now, mind you, I didn't have to touch him. I didn't have to do the leash at all. I didn't have to touch the leash. Because at this point, he literally, I, I got a good look and he broke the leash. He, he just snapped it. Not even the collar. Part. No, he, he snapped the leash. Where it was tied, the knot, he, he broke the knot off. So um, now, a good eight to ten foot leash is ruined so anyway i put crypto up and uh i put bruno up and my goodness as you can see bruno's face was just tore up it was torn up and i got to thinking about it that dog did all of that for me and the only thing that dog asked in return is me you know, that people say, are you dating? People ask me too much. Are you dating yet? Are you, do you have a girlfriend? Do you want a girlfriend? First off, it's not your business. So you can stop asking. Second off, I'm in no hurry to get a girlfriend. Uh, because with girlfriends come temptations that I don't, I don't even, you know, feel like putting up with right now, you know, when I have him. But if I had a girl that, that loved me the way Bruno loves me, let's get married. But anyway, this is a long video. I might edit this out, I might not, because this is a real heart to heart. I mean, my heart was just heavy. Because I, I put Bruno up after I put Crypto up. It was heavy. I said, what in the world? This dog, saved my life he stopped things just before it got too bad to where crypto could have gotten crazy really crazy i should say he got crazy to bite me but at all like to put teeth on my skin he, he got crazy but to get real crazy before it got real crazy that dog on command on command came in and started putting the hurt on that other dog now he didn't try and kill crypto he controlled the situation. And as soon as Crypto calmed down, he unlatched. He went about his business. Crypto came back in. He started the fight. Then Bruno, then Bruno stayed in until I told them to stop. Because 
I'm the pack leader. But that that I'm still think that dog. I told him so many times. You know, no, no, no. But when I when I needed him, I called it. I said, I said Bruno. I said just like that. I, I got back, boy. I got back so fast, and he said, bang, man, on command. And I didn't spend thousands of dollars to have him trained in every situation. No, I'm the pack leader. And he knows his job, just like mine. My job is to protect the pack, but he got a chance to step up and protect the pack leader. So that, I can't explain how this makes me feel. But like I said, he was just like crypto. In fact, actually, he was worse than crypto. He had that aggressive state of mind in a lot more areas in crypto. That's the only area that I've seen it with crypto. Uh, so he was worse than crypto. And now he's fighting for me. Literally fighting for me. So I can't wait to get crypto trained up. Lesson of the day, bring your muzzle whether you think they need it or not. Every single time, bring that muzzle. Because if he had us started, if he, you know, he's starting on, if I had to put that muzzle on, crypto would be out with us too. But, but, it's just, it's awesome. It's just awesome. I'm so happy. Uh, if you, I'm telling you, if you want to protect your dog, I'm still your guy. If you want your dog to stop doing something, I'm your guy. If you want your dog to, to do, to do a command, like obedient, I'm your guy. If you want your dog to do something or stop doing something, I am your guy. Okay. Including a reasonable, rational protection dog. Okay. Notice. Can you see him? I can't. I know he's somewhere over there. Oh, there he is. He's way over there. He's way over there. I'm going to call him one time now. No, no e-collar. I don't believe in those anymore. Um, not that I don't believe in them. If you use them and they work, awesome. I just don't like to use them. Um, but no e-collar. I don't have my treat pouch on me. I don't train with treats. One time. Bruno, come here. One time. I'm not going to call him again. I'm not going to stand up. I'm not going to. Oh, God, God, God. I'm not going to do all that. Good. I like the attentiveness. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, man. Thank you so much. Good. All right. I'm about to be able to play with you now. I'm getting ready to close it up. Uh, are we still on? I've been recording for 23 minutes in like the highest quality where it's like a gigabyte per minute and we're still recording. Is that cool or not? So that's it, guys. I don't know what to tell you. God has literally given, I literally prayed for quite a while. I'm sorry. Uh, all of a sudden, whenever I started talking about God, of course, the phone zoop, runs out of memory. So uh, we took care of it. As I was saying, uh, I prayed not, not even a long time, honestly. I really believed because the way God showed me I, I could be a dog trainer eradicated doubt. So I started praying that God would make me the best dog trainer to ever walk the face of the planet. I would have a way with dogs that no one ever thought possible, that no one ever had or could ever achieve after me. I prayed that God would show me the way to communicate with dogs, that God would show me how dogs are. He would, he would allow me to communicate with them and them communicate with me in a way that was unmatched, in a way that wasn't seen since before the flood. I mean, it would. Uh, if y'all want to know about that, that is actually extremely interesting. Uh, the relationships between animals and man before the flood, because after the flood, God, he put, he literally put the fear of man in the heart of every creature. Okay. Which is why now, if you go to pet a lion, the lion tries to kill you. And they say, well, it's out of fear. You know, that snakes bite you out of fear. And that's true, according to the Bible. So um, let me know if y'all want to hear Bible study about that. Uh, because I knew what I was asking when I said, give me the ability to communicate with dogs and them communicate with me in a way 
that was unmatched since before the flood. I knew exactly what I was praying. And so God, I started getting theories. God started giving me theories. And up to date, yep, yep, up to date, not one theory has fallen short. Not one of them. I had to tweak a couple of them because they were starting, they were starting to veer off a little bit. But the, the foundation of the principles, uh, the, the, principle, the principles were correct. Um, the theories were correct. So when I tell you that I can train your dog, no matter how old, old, no matter how old he or she is, no matter how big or small they are, no matter how uh, fast or slow they are, mentally or physically, no matter what breed they are, when I tell you, it doesn't matter what dog you got, I can train it, you had better believe it because it is the God's honest truth.